How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farm Simulator 22 called Dutch Polder. And we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, This map is called Dutch Polder. 128 fields, 3 points of sale, 1 BGA, 6 farms, added more bricks. Have fun with it. This map was created by Northeast Modding Bass and is 115.61 megabytes to download. There are mods required for this map, and starting with the Wind Turbine Package by Razak, Modern Shed by DMI20MM Normandy and Dutch Modding Inc., Old Cow Shed by DMI20MM Normandy, Dutch Shed Pack by Raff Farmer and DMI20MM Normandy, Bunker Silo by DMI20MM Normandy, Sell Everything by Schultz Modding, Farm Silo Package by DMI20MM Normandy, EU Factories by DMI 20MM Normandy, BGA 60KW by Mifuse FS, Cowshed Pack by DMI 20MM Normandy, Crop Storage Pack by DMI 20MM Normandy, Manure Basin by DMI 20MM Normandy, Fuel Tank Pack by Dutch Modding Inc., Pig Shed by DMI 20MM Normandy, Farmhouse Package Volume 2 by DMI 20MM Normandy. And that is it. And this is what the map looks like to start. Now, <laughs> I'm going to have to approach this tour a slight bit different. So, brace yourselves for that. So, where do we start out? We start out right here in the middle of the map, right in the middle of the uh, shop repair area. We don't own anything to start out with. Nothing. As you can see here, nothing is owned. You, <laughs> Like I said, brace yourselves. It's going to be a little different. So starting with field prices, we take a look around. Uh, 70000 for this. It's, oh, well, that one's free. 69000 I don't know if that's necessarily supposed to be free, but, I mean, it is. 106,000, you've got 79,000. Uh, they're all relatively inexpensive, but they're all relatively small too. You got almost up to the 200,000 mark, but you're gonna have to build up to be able to start buying a lot of these plots. Uh, that or start borrowing money pretty quick. Uh, let's see, under animals, you don't have anything to start out with. Contracts, you do have those available to you. Productions, you do have a few of these. You got the biogas, the grain mill, and the dairy. But if we go back to the map. Oh, yes. So they do. Sorry. It's like I said, there's a lot of differences on this map compared to other maps. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of point those out as we go. Uh, going back. Contracts, yes. Production change, yes. Uh, collectibles, yes. There are 20 collectibles out there. Uh, uh, mod specific to this map, there are, is nothing under the build mode, but under, I'm sorry, under the buy menu, but under build mode, oh, there we go, there is nothing until you get to the landscaping tab, in which if we take a look at the painting, there are several additional paint swatches, so very nice there, and that is it for the mods, or I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, mod specific to this map. So now this is where we're going to switch things up. There's a lot of areas on this map that you have to buy prior to being able to use anything, obviously, because we don't have anything to start out with. So let's go ahead and go and borrow a bunch of money because we need to buy them, we need to show what's all on there. So we'll get the maximum amount that's allowed. I think it's 500,000. Yes, there we go. Now, starting with... Oh, and you know what? The entirety of the map is purchasable. So you are able to buy everything on the map. Starting with Farmland number one, you can purchase this. And this is going to have uh, a sleep trigger, farm, repair uh, trigger, grain mill, and cell points on this. So if you can see here, this is kind of the periphery. It doesn't cost you a penny. We're going to go ahead and buy this, but take a look here. You do have the livestock market right here in the whole Bellarone. Um, you know what? That just dawned on me too. 
I don't remember seeing... Oh! So the animal dialogue box is hidden at first. So this is where the animal dialogue box is. Huh. Okay, well let's go back to the main shop area because that's where we're going to start out at. We are over in this corner here to begin with. Sorry, it just I went through the walkthrough and I just occurred to me that I didn't recognize where that trigger was. So that is going to be important for later. We'll come to that here in a little while. So farmland number one uh, is here. Nothing to cost you, so let's go ahead and purchase it. But take a look at the regions around here where that uh, animal dealer was and up here in the kind of northwest corner. We'll go ahead and just buy those. Now you can see... All these triggers now appear. So you almost have like a working farm here. You also have this uh, repair trigger that pops up right over here. You've got, let's see, this repair trigger down here that popped up. So you got all these various places that just kind of pop up from purchasing that uh, specific cell point or that specific farmland, farmland number one. Now let's take a look at farmland number 33. You can purchase this for $17,760, and you get storage and a fuel tank on this one. On 39, which is the next one, where is 39? Down here. For $28,560, you get a sell everything container and the dairy. So those were already there, so you don't necessarily have to purchase them, but I wanted to go through and purchase everything so it can just be, you know, no hidden, you know, surprises kind of thing. Uh, farmland number 58 is next. Let's see, where is 58? 58, where are you? Oh, up here. So check this out. This is a field, farm, uh, field number nine, but if you buy it, there is a slurry base in here. It's a little slurry silo right here on the side of the field. So that is a hidden purchase point. Uh, farmland number 86 is next. That is doo -doo -doo down here. You can see there's more storage and another fuel tank right there. Next is farmland number 90. That's here. Oh, and you know what? Uh, 22,152 for that. Then you've got farmland number 90 for 40,344, and that is a bunch of pig barns. After that, we have farmland 92, and you can see a bunch of stuff pops up here, and this is kind of supposed to be the starting farm, as best as I can tell, but, and the reason I say this is because all your starting equipment's here, but you get... 56,736 where you get pretty much the same stuff by purchasing uh, farmland number one not all the same stuff it's not an actual farm yard per se but you get areas to kind of build up and stuff so this this is kind of an odd map to me uh, we'll keep going uh, then you got farmland number 11 again this has the biogas on it so the only thing new that popped up here is the slurry basin which is now available. So to purchase that, 31248 Um, Let's see, formula number 112, which is doo -doo -doo -doo, over here. Purchase that for 42672 And now you get a bunch of pig barns and a slurry basin as well as a fuel tank. Then we move on to 117 right over here. And here you get another fuel tank and a... Uh, bunch of storage and then lastly down here you can purchase the shop area for 28,560 if you so choose and there we go we've got all the areas purchased to be able to kind of make our way around the map and you can see all the new triggers that are now available throughout the entirety of the map so we do start here at the shop let's go over here repair trigger right here shop trigger right there and you also have another repair trigger right in here now we're gonna run over here hop over this ditch and 
Another ditch. Run through the field. And here we've got one of the farmlands where we were able to purchase a bunch of pig barns. Now you can see you can have four of the pig barns for 250 pigs each. You have the slurry point here and the feed point right here. It's all the same going down. You also have a feed point. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Feed points right here. What am I talking about? Ay, ay, ay. Like I said, this, this map kind of throws me for a loop. It, it's a set up so differently compared to other maps. So it was a little bit weird to kind of say the least. So we're going to go ahead and run over here now. Jump over the ditch. There we go. So right here you have the grain mill. You got the input here, output over here, and the trigger is right here. Now you do start out with all the production chains that are built in base on the map. Right over here you have a sell everything sell point uh, with a wood sell trigger right there. Now we've got to run down the road. Now, like I mentioned, this is kind of what is supposed to be your starting farm. But as we kind of go around, you'll see that there's other places where you can kind of set up your starting farm on the farmland number one area, that kind of periphery area, that uh, really kind of will let you kind of start off without having to buy a whole bunch of uh, property without having to spend so much right off the beginning then all you have to do is just move your equipment to your farm if you so choose but because this is technically the starting farm or at least as far as I can tell um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the starting equipment so go down to your buy menu under the owned items starting with small tractors you have the Klaus Arian 650 and John Deere 6120M under medium tractors, the Fent 722 Vario. Harvesters, the Deutzfahrer Top Lighter 4090H. Telehandlers, the Kloss Scorpion 1033. Trailers, the Rudolph TDK 301 RP. The header for the Deutzfahrer, you got plows, the Agromaz uh, POV 5XL. Cultivators, the Horse Toronto 3FX. Power Heroes, the Amazon KG 30, uh, 3001 Super. Cedars, the Amazon Kateya 3000 Super. Planters, the Agromaz Falcon 3. Under sprayers, the Hardy Mega 1200L. Fertilizer spreaders, the Amazon ZATS 3200. Manure spreaders, the Branther uh, TA 1250 Power Spread Plus. Uh, under mowers, you got the K-Brand GMD 8730FF and K-Brand GMD 3123F. Pottinger, you have the HIT 1618T. Under wind rowers, they have the Samaz Z2840H. Under forage wagons, the Schutzmaker Rapide 580V. Under animals, you have the Silo, Gain, uh, Silo, Gain, Silo King Trailed Line 4.0 Premium 221822. Under telehandler tools, you have the Magsy Universal Bucket, Pallet Fork, and Bale Fork. Under header trailers, you have the Deutzfar Header Trailer. And lastly, under weights, you have a 10 Winkle FGB600. Now, starting out here at the farm, we do start out with a silo where you can have seeds and mineral feed. You can either purchase them or put into it. Uh, here you have a cow shed where you have room for up to 70 cows. Here is your slurry output. Over here you have another cow barn. This is the milk trigger right here on this cow barn. Another seed and uh, mineral feed silo right there. Some of your starting equipment just tucked away back here. And over here is the milk trigger for this barn. Now turn around and right behind me, tucked away in here, is a repair trigger right there. Got some more starting equipment. Bunker silos. Let's see, around here you got another bunker silo. Another seed and mineral feeds uh, silo. 
and another cow barn that will hold 140 cows. And again, your uh, slurry comes out right there. And that's pretty much it for this starting farm. Qu again, quote unquote. Now we're going to hop in the Arion here. And start making our way around the map. Now at this intersection here, we're going to turn and make a right. And then turn and make a right right here. And from here, let's go ahead and take a look at the map and see where we've been and what we've seen up to this point. So going in here, we've got... Okay, so we started here at the kind of shop area. We made our way over to this whole pig farm over here. Came down and saw the grain mill up to this, again, quote-unquote, starting farm. And then up to here, over, and down to here. And this is where we're at at the moment. Where we are at is at the biogas plant. So again, you own all productions to start out with. You've got your input and output for your liquids right here. And your solid inputs are right there. You have a sell everything uh, sell point right here, wood cell trigger right beside it, and a slurry basin. So this is essentially just a slurry silo. The place for you to be able to store slurry. I'm not sure if it stores slurry and digestate. I'd be, you know what, I might be able to tell, hold on. Uh, if we go in here, scroll down, where is digestate? There it is. Uh, it actually does look like it, it should be a slurry silo. So my best guess is, uh, no, I'm sorry, a slurry and digestate silo. So my best guess is you'll be able to store both of those items in there. Possibly not at the same time though. I'm not sure about that. So now heading up to the north some more. Now, I don't know if you noticed that light pole there, how it's kind of pivoted off to the side. I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or if that was unintentional. Um, there is one other light pole that's like that. All the other light poles are, you know, straight vertical. They're they're kind of, you know, meant to be the way they're be. They're meant to be the way they are. But that one is crooked, and there's another one's crooked. And I'm just not sure if it was intended or if it was some kind of issue coming over. And I turned too quickly. All right, to my right, we have another one of those barns with the repair trigger inside the door. And then over here, we have a fuel tank with a bunch of storage. So several storage sheds. And go ahead and open these up. Pretty large. I mean, got a fair, fair bit of storage space in there. That's why I'm saying, like, this is, I believe, part of the periphery, if I'm not mistaken. That's free. Uh, no, this one isn't. So the repair trigger here is... But if I'm not mistaken, there is a storage space where it is part of the periphery. I think it's down south. We'll, we'll confirm that later on. Which is why I'm saying you could theoretically just buy the periphery and then save your money for a field or whatever the case may be. Uh, you don't necessarily have to purchase the starting farm. So this is where the animal dealer was. And I didn't realize it when I first came here that the animal dealer was necessarily here because it looks like the icon for it's tr uh, hidden just right there. So you do have a cow barn with space for 35 cows. You got a feed trigger inside here. I believe this is milk trigger, fuel tank here, and around back I believe this is the slurry uh, output. Now also again we have another repair trigger and the repair trigger is right there. Now, right about here, you saw that animal dialogue. There it is. Animal dialogue box just popped up. There is no symbol for it here for some reason. But 
This is the area where you come to purchase your animals and you can purchase them from here or you can purchase them from those icons directly at the barns and pastures that you own. So you can see here I could theoretically buy you know, a cow, but by buying a cow from this or the other location, uh, so from the animal dealer location over here or the barns and pastures directly, you do incur a delivery fee. Now you can see cows, adult cows are $100 per head. The more space for cows, the more you purchase, the more that fee is going to increase. So you can see here, 35 cows, 3,500 bucks. Now you can save that delivery fee by coming to this location with an animal trailer, whether it's leased, whether it's owned, it doesn't matter. Bring it over here, load directly into the animal trailer, and then deliver the animals yourself, and you save that delivery fee. So just a nice little tip to save some money there. So now we're gonna continue on down the road. Now, coming up to my left, you'll see the uh, another slurry basin. So again, another slurry storage point. Now off to my right is another fuel tank and a bunch of uh, storage place, right? Storage space right over there. Oh, I can talk, I promise. Now there's the other light pole I was talking about that's really just kind of bent over. I, and again, don't know if it's like that on purpose or who knows. I mean, like I said, this map kind of perplexes me. It really confuses me at times. So we'll get to that at the end. Right here is another farm. You've got a little bit of storage space. You got what is it? Three? Yes, three pig barns here. Room for 170 pigs each. Feed goes here. Slurry right there. Across the way you have a manure heap, a fuel tank, and another slurry basin. Again, another slurry silo. Now we'll continue on down the road. Now you'll notice that really you're not going to get huge equipment in and around this area. And the fields really aren't going to require large pieces of equipment. Uh, it's one of those that it's really going to be kind of small to medium sized uh, bits of equipment. The larger you get, the little, I, I, I suspect it's going to be a lot difficult, a lot more difficult. Uh, gas station off to the right, right there. Kind of going through this little kind of suburb area, kind of built up area there. Make a right. Now continuing down the road our next point of interest is just coming up in the distance there. All right, now to my left is another sell everything sell point. Over here, you have the dairy. Again, you own it it's right off the bat, so no uh, no needs of purchasing it. And again, you can purchase the land. You don't have to that the dairy sits on. If you want to make any mod uh, modifications or anything like that, then you are more than welcome to do so. Now, coming up here to my right... I'm going to pass by another repair trigger right in there. And then over here, you have again 
another fuel tank, and a bunch of storage. Now, is this one that was included in the periphery? Nope. So, I guess I was wrong. So, the periphery just has these kind of repair trigger sites. So, you could theoretically set these up to be your starting farm, but it might not be enough space to be able to kind of hold out kind of thing, because you got another one up here in the north. You got, uh, let's see, the one in the south. Yeah. So it's just one of those, like, you can, you can stretch it out and make it work, I guess. Uh, but it's really up to you. But that is it. Let's take a look at the map just again real quick and see where we've been and what we've seen. So where were we? I think... Oh, we were here at the biogas plant. So we came back out of the biogas, came up and around over to here where we saw the uh, repair trigger as well as the fuel tank and storage. Came back out over to here where we saw the animal dealer, the cow barn, uh, uh, what else was over here? Was it the, the fuel tank and the repair trigger? That's it. Over to here where we saw the slurry basin. Down to here where we saw the storage and fuel tank. Down and over to here where we saw the three pig barns, the fuel tank, the slurry basin, the manure heap was there. Down through the little built up area here where you had the gas station down and over to here where we saw the dairy as well as the sell everything container over to here where we had the repair trigger and now lastly ending the tour here at the fuel tank and storage now we are to the point of rendering my opinion what do i think of this map zero to five scale as normal i am going to be brutally honest and is not to be mean or anything like that I really don't like this map I really don't and the reason I don't is because it just feels completely unnatural it doesn't feel like a real place it's basically this island-esque kind of thing you've got all this kind of area out here that is part of the periphery. I don't know if you could actually mow this grass, if but you'd have to be able to get equipment out and over here. Uh, but because you own the area here, could you theoretically... I'm trying to see if you can flatten this all out to be able to get equipment out, but it doesn't look like it's gonna, unless I'm like right up against the border here. So you, mm. okay, so yeah, I'm right up against the border. Oh, I'm way out in the middle of the field here. So if I. Okay, so check it out. So you theoretically could come out to here and you could mow all this, but again, it just something about it just doesn't seem right. Like you've got this kind of oasis of grass that's surrounding this kind of built up dome area, like this kind of uh, berm, I think is the proper term, like this kind of built up mound area um yeah it just it doesn't feel real like it doesn't feel like a real place it's got that kind of cartoony vibe that i that i describe without the without the colors like typically when i refer to cartoon i i tend to refer to like there's an abundance of colors like a different assortment of flowers and stuff and it just doesn't feel like it's natural like it's just kind of you know, from the imagination and, and I know all these maps are technically from the imagination but this one just really feels like just really feels like it's it's just not natural you've got tons of these wind turbines all throughout the area there 
and that's really the only thing that kind of breaks up the sight line. You get occasional trees, but the, the map itself is incredibly flat. You've got these massive ditches that are more hazards than anything. You've got the very specific roads and networks to lead to specific fields, so you cannot get into field 95 here without being able to... Or wait, uh, you could technically get in from here, but you're not... I don't think you're supposed to get in from here. Um, yeah, it just, it's, it just feels... Like, everything just feels clunky. Everything just f has this sense about it of not flowing properly. The fact that you start out with no starting farm, even especially on New Farm Road. So you get $100,000, and what you're essentially supposed to do is come over here and spend more than half of it on the starting farm. I mean, again, like I mentioned, you can purchase the periphery and it's no money and then you can kind of move all your equipment to other places. But, I mean, you then still have to buy a field and what is the cheapest field? What's the smallest field? Look at this. one twenty. So there was this one here. Was it this? It was one of these ones that was free, but again, I don't think it's meant to be free. Here's one. 32000 That one's pretty small. You got this one here for uh, 45,000 so I mean you're gonna you know, you're gonna be you know pretty much tapped out the moment that you buy the farm and a field you're gonna be completely wiped out and hopefully you find a field where it's ready to harvest to where you can kind of bring some of that money back but I'm not seeing a, fa a field that would necessarily be within your price point maybe this one and what is this this one is barley no that's not barley it's oats yeah so you could theoretically purchase this and the starting farm here and be set but then again you're just under the gun and you're really starting at a disadvantage so it's just one of those like there's so many aspects that just don't tie that well together um, you start out with all the, uh, you start out with all the production points, but the problem is as well, is that at some of those production points, there are like the slurry basin where you have to buy the land in order to have access to the slurry basin. Um, if, if you so choose, you know, and it is a, a decent starting farm, but again, it's just so flat that it just. I can see off into the distance and it's just nothing that is really available to break up any of the sight lines. I can see over the bunker silo and into the distance and it just doesn't sit well. It doesn't seem right for some reason. I, it's hard to art articulate why this doesn't hit home for me. Um outside of the fact is it just doesn't feel real. It just feels like two from the imagination if that makes sense you, you know what this is probably the best way i can explain it this is farming simulator you know so there's supposed to be that kind of hint of reality you know even if you don't necessarily play to that style you, there's supposed to be that element of reality and i just don't feel like this is farming simulator as much as it is just farming that's probably the best way i can describe it and, I'm, and again i'm not saying any of this to be mean or anything like that this is just my opinion and you know is meant to be taken as constructive criticism so hopefully the next time the map maker can either take this as a bit of advice and do something with the next map and do something great now don't get me wrong i'm not the arbiter of all things that are good so this map may be perfect for somebody out there who just wants to play the game and this would make a very good starting map it's got a lot of you know squared fields that are easily you know set up for the ai workers and things like that now also 
not so easy for the AI workers because you've got all these uh, ditches that are in and around all the fields, all the roads, all that stuff. So it's going to be kind of, you know, six of one, half dozen the other. And I can see how a lot of people are going to lose equipment if they're, you know, not paying attention to the periphery around. So, like, if you get a worker kind of going, uh, what is this, east to west in this field here, they're going to go in here. There's just no doubt about it. You got a harvester that's coming in and doing the work here. You're getting stuck. You're having to reset. And I mean, you're going to have to make a huge headland along this kind of uh, trench here to be able to get in and out for the worker without having them go into the ditch. And that's a that's a hope, hope and a prayer. And I think that's likely the same on the other end, too, that you got a ditch over here. Yep. So, again, it's just one more element to where I wanted, I wanted to say this is going to be a very, you know, good map for somebody to start on on, but it's really not because of all these ditches and all the kind of obstructions. So it's flat enough to be and square enough to be worker friendly, but in reality, you've got all these obstructions that are really going to, you know, lay a hindrance on people. So, yeah, I can't even say it would be good for a, uh, somebody starting out kind of thing it, it's so this is just one of those maps that's just really kind of its own thing it's its own thing and yeah that's uh kind of how i feel about it and, and i know i've kind of ranted and vented a little bit about this and uh it, it's just like i said not intended to to be taken as mean or anything like that is just constructive criticism how i feel about the map and i hope that if the map maker sees this hears this that they don't just think that i'm trying to come at them or anything that's not what i'm trying to do i'm specifically you know putting out what i think is the kind of flaws with this map um so yeah not a, no starting farm no starting fields uh, the equipment is really good. The equipment is like really, really good. Got a lot of good starting equipment. Um, the the ditches like they're they're everywhere. It makes it really difficult. So it's not very well set up for starters, and it's not really that, uh, in my opinion, that good for for veterans. Just because you know, unless you're a veteran who likes flat maps, and you're not even really getting a flat map because of the ditches. It, it it's really kind of just open without being open so long story short what do i think zero to five scale i'm gonna give this one probably a one um just a lot of things that i don't care for and and again the the berm on the other uh, all around i mean at first i thought this was an island before i actually went out there because i thought this was water um and especially because, you know, you got this little dot out here kind of thing. So I figured that there might be, you know, just a bunch of water and then there's just like an island or something. But now that I see that it's actually like grass fields. And now what's cool is, is that because you can purchase this, you can potentially get equipment out there like I showed and be able to mow. Um, but again, that's if that grass is mowable, if it's able to be used kind of thing. I don't know. I just I just have no idea. So you could theoretically just get a ton and ton and ton of grass, which would be nice. But it, it's one of those that I have to wait and see if somebody plays it and gets some equipment out here. Let me know because I, I would be curious. I would certainly be curious. But that's uh, that's the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and join the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.